All right, so for today, my next uh, project here are gonna be those. Those are the Annabelle hydrangeas. Now we're in the first week of October, so this isn't really ideal. I'm told you really should wait till spring. But the idea is you try to get this new growth here. You can see where it's all dark down here. This is the old growth. I'll probably even get into that. But apparently this new stuff is what I want to get off and get into a bed so that I can have them for next year. So let's get going. So I'm just using regular KitchenAid shears. Um, this would be an example. You can see down in here where it gets really dark. Dang it, camera. Where it gets dark right there, and then you see it starts to lighten up. I tried to cut into that wooded area, like right in here, and it's pretty firm. So I'm cutting up into this area. Whoops. Hold on. I'm supposed to be holding on to it, but I got the camera in my hand. And then with a big piece like this, I ought to be able to get at least two cuttings out of that. You know, like this is a really good one because you can see this growth right here. See this green? So it's a lot more helpful if you don't have dogs. Um, but this right here is really good. That means this growth probably can start, something can start to happen before we get snow here anyway. And then by next spring, these things should take off. What I like to do on these long ones like this is just um, count up probably to about here. This is one node that would be in the ground, maybe even two nodes that would be in the ground. The roots would grow from that. And then here and here, this will be the top growth. And then so what I do is when I cut it, well, let's see here. When I cut it, I'm gonna cut like at an angle so I can tell that this, this would be the top. That's the idea anyway. Let's continue. So what I like to do is cut them about this length and then I try to get two of those nodes where you see those little green buds, the leaves are starting to grow. I try to get two of those in the ground um, it's worked for me. It worked for me when I did this a few years ago. I've been out of the gardening thing for quite a while. I'm getting back into it. But that's how I used to do it. And I still have some growing up there up front. We can look at those another time. All right. And when you get done, that's what it looks like. Got myself a little basket of cuttings. And now they're ready to go uh, into rooting compound and then into the ground. So I got a big basket of them in here. Just brought up into the house away from the dogs. Pull out a couple of them here so you can see. This is kind of what they look like. Like these might even be too too tall. You can look at the leaves. Look like they got chewed on pretty hard by something. I hope it doesn't have any disease or anything. And even when they're curved like that, I'll still stick them in. Some of them, if they're real bad, I'll just cut off and and, and just try to straighten it up. But you can see here where that dark growth is. Like it, it doesn't look super healthy but anyway this is probably I'll, I'll guess probably about 40 different annabelle hydrangeas and that's just my first cutting i'll go back and probably get some more tomorrow when i have somebody to watch the dogs all right that's all for now on that part yes my sink is dirty thank you guys one last thing i could think of is if you get confused on which is up and which is down just look at the leaf nodes and you see they're all growing up, right? If you got it opposite, then you got the wrong direction. So anyway, I'm just going to get them all into this sink full of water. Just going to let them get all soaked up there before I take them outside. Now, it's only like, you know, 62 degrees maybe today. Yeah, so these things won't, you know, be getting blasted by sun. It's, uh, I think it's the 3rd or 4th of October today. So up here in Maine, uh, zone 5, 5A, I believe. I just normally like to go with zones 4 just in case. Um, I don't want to buy any plants that are right on the line. So um, these will definitely be in zone 4 and even below that, I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm down here at the bed <clears throat> where I put in the um, daylilies. Oh, I forgot what else, some other bulbs, whatever. These are the hydrangea cuttings I, you just saw me do. 
And so what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to, first week of October, I'm just going to plug them in to this little nursery bed I've got. This is to like rehab plants that aren't doing so well. So I'm just going to start shoving them in any spot I can get them, um, get them put in. I've soaked them in water for about a good hour and a half. So I'm basically just shoving it in here to get two of the nodes underground, just like that. This one's an especially tall one. I probably shouldn't try. Oh, well, anyway. So anyway, two nodes into the ground. Right about there. All right, I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around until I get all of this in. All right, so it ended up making uh, about that size of a little bed. You know, not not as much as uh, it looked like in the kitchen sink, but or maybe it does. I, I, it almost looks like one giant plant right now. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, they're in, so we'll see um, basically if they live. <laughs> 